reasons for doing this mod was to protect the um, my deck. You know, I have wood decks where I would do some barbecuing, and um, with the uh, ash catcher there that was there before that comes with the Jumbo Joe, I was really um, scared about lighting the deck on fire. So this gives me a little uh, additional uh, just level of uh, sanity, I guess, <laughs> while I'm cooking. And if I go inside, I can kind of know that hot coals are going to come out there and, and start a fire. All right, I think that's ready to come off. All right, so today I'm going to do a couple modifications to the Jumbo Joe. I'm going to try to install this 18 inch ash cleaner to the bottom, replacing the old old one here, uh, which was kind of difficult to adjust. Hoping that the new one, uh, which has a lever attached right here, uh, will be a little bit more useful. In addition, we have the ash catcher, so I'm gonna see if I can get that installed as well. Hopefully that'll provide a little bit more safety um, in terms of um, hot ashes potentially falling out when I'm camping or on my deck. All right, stay posted. The cleaner doesn't quite fit. If I push it all the way down, you can still see there's a gap um, as it hits this rim. As I cut off the, uh, the leaves on the cleaner quite a bit, that all is set in here. Cut off right where the angle of the bolt really spikes upward. I wish I had two pairs of these. Let's see what else I could do. I'll go around to each edge. This is the last one. So we fan that out. You can see they're a little bit wider. Although I think this is a softer metal, so it probably wouldn't scratch uh, the interior of the grill. All right, so now placing this in here. It's actually matching that pretty well. What I'm hoping to maintain is the ability to shut the vents all the way. So now after tweaking that a little bit, that's a pretty soft metal. I'm getting like pretty good contact. I'll chop off a little length on three. I'm not too disappointed with it. It's not perfect. Leaf two right now is just almost perfect there. <clears throat> you know what, I think I'm actually gonna get a little bit more extreme on this. Curve these around, Let's see if I can do it on camera here. So they're closer to the original shape. I was hoping to not have to do this. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that turned out much better than I expected. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and do the same thing to each of the other corners. All right, let's take a look at that. It would be nice if Weber made something like this. I wish they made the jumbo grill with the catcher and the cleaner built in. I've been really happy with the shear. Two doesn't need much work. Number one, number three need to be opened up a little bit. Alright, starting to look pretty good. So now I'm going to do a little bit of filing just to smooth off the bottom too. It's pretty, pretty good. But I'm pretty happy with it. Now I'm going to insert this adjustment rod. Uh, and the next step will be to try to fashion something to get this uh, ash catcher on here. So that's the next goal. I'm going to have to create some brackets. And it's going to fit in like that. We got the ash catcher installed. These brackets are working all right. And we got the uh, coal cleaner, and the bucket will come off. And the legs come uh, like this. There's three of these and they all attach in the center. The problem with that is that now that we have this ash catcher here, it adds a little bit of extra height. My solution is to, um, it's going to be to try to bend this into a new kind of leg. And so we're taking that um, existing leg here, and then I'm going to bend it into this form, placing it uh, like this. I was able to bend it so this kind of clipped in and I kind of like that. It looks like it's built to do that. So that seems to be on there all right. 
may be able to screw the leg to the ash catcher using a bolt. Let me put the other three on. So here it is. Here's it with the legs on. Stability is uh, pretty good, yeah, and it's not out of level. Turn that off. There you go. We got a little bit of clearance there. All right, I'll call that a success. little smoke ring around there and it's just perfectly cooked that's the tip so it's going to be a little bit more done but it should be like that all the way through really and then we also have this was the pepper here is the uh, original Santa Maria style looks pretty good tastes, tastes really good